and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here to, um, you know, to the broadcast. Uh, this is going to be a historic weekend uh, for motorsports. Uh, this is going to be the title of the broadcast. It's going to be a 10-minute short broadcast because I have to get to dinner. So, uh, first of all, let's get down to business. Uh, this is a summer of sports episode. Everything that's done this summer is going to be a summer of sports episode, except for, you know, the show that I've got working in the cooks in, in the kitchen with my, uh, uh, with my friend, uh, with my, uh, co-workers, but, um, uh, with my friends and co-workers, and, uh, you know, we had NASCAR, IndyCar, and Formula One, but that's not what makes this weekend so historic. NASCAR, really what makes this weekend historic, is that NASCAR and IndyCar were not only racing together, they were racing at the same track, and they raced on the same day. Formula One also raced in the same weekend, but Formula One, let's get down to business, let's start off with the first race that we had, which was IndyCar. And so it was at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, it was not the Indy 500, don't worry, you did not miss the Indy 500. The GMR Grand Prix, that was what it was called, and you know, it was the second race after the restart, or after the start of Indy, or the late start of IndyCar. And so IndyCar, you know, had started at Texas Motor Speedway, and obviously Scott Dixon had won that thing. Um, and he decided, okay, I'm 47, that's my 47th win, you know, let's go for another one at the GMR Grand Prix, which is a road, using the road course at Indianapolis, that is the, uh, that is the GMR Grand Prix, but they decided to, um, uh, on, but Indy 500 won't be till August 23rd, don't be, you know, don't get mad or anything. Um, and he, you know, he rides for Chip Ganassi Racing, he drives the number 9 Honda, and he ended up racing and winning the GMR Grand Prix, um, to hoist his 48th IndyCar win, um, and then our next race, uh, NASCAR Xfinity Series, NASCAR Xfinity Series, they, it was the first time they had done a race at the Brickyard, it was the Pennzoil 150, um, at the Brickyard, it was the first time that they had used the Brickyard's, uh, road, uh, road course, and so they used the road course, and, uh, the Brickyard is, Indianapolis Motor Speedway is interesting, it's got, like, uh, it's got, it's got a great history, plus it's got a golf course, a professional golf course that the, uh, LPGA uses, um, it's called Brickyard Crossings, and it's got, you know, world-class motor speedway, and it's, you know, it's nuts, and, I mean, you can hoist any, host anything there, no, seriously, anything, concerts, movies, uh, just anything, but let's get down here, uh, they used the road course, it was the first time they had ever used the road course for a NASCAR race, um, at, at Indy, and, uh, Chase Briscoe was coming in this race, he was the cup, he's the, uh, Xfinity leader, he was battling off, you know, some great guys like Austin Sindrick, No Gragson, AJ Almendinger, and Justin Haley, and, you know, Harrison Burton, and guys that, you know, you know, you have to pass before getting into winning, and Chase Briscoe, obviously, from Indiana, a dude that was like Tony Stewart, and, you know, he's both, you know, he wanted to, he has always wanted to win at the Brickyard, and so, you know, he comes in here, he's 25 years old, he comes into the Brickyard, he wins, he won the road course, um, after a really hard fought battle late in the race, he lost the first position to uh, Almadinger and Sindrick, and Sindrick and Almadinger started battling after, um, and then Briscoe it gave Briscoe the chance to go low, and Briscoe passed them. And then Sindrick and Almadinger ended up being both theirs' worst nightmare. They ended up crashing against each other and clashing, and they ended up hitting each other into the grass. They finished, I think, like third and fourth or something. Or fourth and fifth. Um, uh, next was the... Uh, next was this morning. We had July 5th, the July 5th uh, race. And um, it was an interesting race. It was uh, the Australian Grand Prix um, for the uh, Formula 1. And Formula 1 is a great place. It is a great a uh, squad of people, it's a great, you know, it's a great racing league, and it's the European Racing League, and they go all around the world, they come to the U.S., they have one race in 
every like almost in every in every continent except for um the Antarctica they have a race they may not have a race in Africa I don't think they have, they may have a race in Africa I don't know but they have you know some really great races and so their race this year they had a race and it, it, it's normally the Australian Grand Prix which is normally what the seat what starts the season up and they decided to start the season up uh late uh due to COVID-19 though um, and he, and you know, uh, Lewis Hamilton, a really, really good driver, he ended up, uh, leading this thing. He ended up leading this thing until late in the race, about four laps to go. Uh, you know, I think four laps to go, or it could be me, like, crossing it up. Um, I actually slept in this morning because, you know, I stayed up last night due to COVID, or due to, uh, July 4th. Happy July 4th, guys. Happy 4th of July. Um, I actually published a video on that on my, uh, my historic channel, um, on YouTube, but, uh, uh, Hamilton ended up speeding. He ended up speeding, I think, it was a late speed penalty, and he ended up, you know, dropping to, I believe, like, fifth or something. He ended up getting, like, a five-second speed penalty that dropped him to fourth, and uh, he decided, I, I can either serve this at the end of the race or serve this now. So he just stopped for like five seconds and then jumped back into the race. And he ended up um, finishing fourth. But his teammate, uh, Valtteri Bo Botas, he finished first uh, in front of Leclerc um, from uh, Ferrari. Botas and uh, Hamilton are both from... Uh, team Mercedes and uh, Botas is in the 77 Mercedes um, and next okay then it's NASCAR I watched this full entire race start to finish even in the top parts where it was insane um, so you know obviously this race just ended the race just ended there up there um, around you know it was not supposed to end like the end you know this late supposed to end around five but it ended later because of uh lightning delays but um obviously kevin harvick won the race but it was interesting it was really interesting to see this race because denny hamlin led late led really later into the um into the uh race and he ended up you know racing pretty well and then finally he ended up um he crashed he you know, he skidded and he crashed due to the aging of his tires. And um, he had a crash that was similar to his teammate. Um, all the Toyotas, I must mention this, had a ver very weird vibrating sound um, in, their, uh, in their cars. And it ended up resulting in the crash of some of the, uh, so in uh, almost all of the uh uh, Toyotas, Eric Jones, Denny Hamlin. I mean, Martin Truex Jr. left due to a uh, spark plug um, incident in... Uh, they thought it was way bigger, but it was just a spark plug incident. He left early in the race, and all these guys, every time there was a caution, you know, I think uh, Daniel Suarez, he almost spun out, but Christopher Bell, he went in every time there was a caution to keep his way away from uh, getting, you know from crashing out and the last Joe Gibbs Toyota out there was uh, Kyle Busch and um but uh it was an interesting race um and Kevin Harvick ended up taking the checkered flag his third checkered flag at um at the Brickyard he won 2003 and he won last year so it was a back to back win for him it was his fourth win this year and his 53rd win um, la uh, in his career, um, and he is one win away, away from tying Lee Petty for the most ra uh, race wins in NASCAR, and, uh, Matt Kenseth finished second, uh, the top five were Kevin Harvick, Matt Kenseth, uh, Eric Amarola, Brad Keselowski, and Cole Custer, Cole Custer being the rookie, this is possibly his best finish in NASCAR, um, this season, Kevin Harvick, Dinner. I know, sorry, my mom said I could do this because, you know, it's obligate, I'm obligated by my internship, so, 
My sister's just being a pain. Um, uh, Stuart Haas Racing, uh, Kevin Harvick was from Stuart Haas Racing. They had three drivers out of the top five drivers uh, going into the top uh, five. He, Kevin Harvick was sporting the Bush Patriotic uh, car. And, um, you know, it was an interesting race. But thank you for joining us. I am uh, Hugo Traverso, and have a great day.